I want to show you guys the new iMac Pro 2017. This morning I went to the Apple store and was the only computer available there. And was the first computer that they were selling there, the iMac Pro one, on that location. I want to show you the specification, if you could see it so far. Now we can proceed to open this wonderful iMac Pro. Time to open this beautiful one. We remove the sticker on the below side. Look how beautiful it is. This iMac is more heavier than the 2013 one version in, with the box included. This is our new iMac Pro. And now we can proceed to take it out from the box. This is the power cable. On the below section, we have another box. Inside here, maybe will be the keyboard and the mouse. This is our mouse. Beautiful mouse, gray space with black on the other side. This is our keyboard. The color is black too. And gray space. Finally, they put the numerical numbers on the actual right side of it because before you have to buy it separately. If we compare to with the 2013 version, we could see the, the size and most likely the numbers too that we have it now. The actual iMac Pro has a longer keyboard. And don't forget the actual USB cable to charge the keyboard and the mouse. And we have a little manual here that indicates some instruction about the iMac Pro. Some indication how to use it. Finally, we have the, our beautiful iMac Pro out of the box, all sealed. And let's take a look around it. Now let's take, let's remove this cover. And we can see that we have extra protection here, a plastic cover, let's remove it. Now I could show you the behind part of the iMac. We got the connector for the headset, the SD card, four USB port, fast speed. We got four USB-C, the newest technology, and we have the internet port there. And then we could see so far that we cannot remove the memory RAM, like the version be before one, before this one. Like the AMA 2013, you are able to change the memory RAM with no problem, we just by removing the cover, but this one does not have it. The iMac Pro does not have that option now. Now we could proceed to turn it on and the power button is on the left side, like the versions before. 
let's wait to turn it on and let's see how nice it looks. Now we could proceed to turn on our mouse and we could take our keyboard and make sure we turn on the switch too. Let's select the language, whatever language you guys want, English, Spanish, French. Now we have to proceed with the keyboard too, like I said. In the top part of the keyboard is the switch right there. We turn it on. Now we have to wait for the actual iMac to synchronize. It's like very quick, that does it. It's in seconds. Now we hit continue. Select the country, the type of uh, layout for the mouse, for the keyboard, the language. If you want to add a Wi-Fi network, in my case, I use I skip that just to make the process faster. Don't try for anything right now. Just agree to all the terms and conditions, and then you put your account there and your password, and then continue. We go continue. Now it's setting up the Mac. He's doing it for the first time, so it's going to take a couple of minutes to do it. Now we got it here, up and running. In the next video, I'm going to show you different tests with the iMac Pro and making the difference versus the iMac 2013 and the different capabilities this computer has. Let me show you the information about this iMac about the processor, the memory RAM, the graphics, and the hard drive, the space for the hard drive. It's a terabyte SSD, so it's a state drive. Actually, the computer is going very fast. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any comments or questions, please leave it on the box below, and I will be glad to help you at any moment. Thank you so much for watching, and have a wonderful day, guys.